Hi, I'm John Palumbo. Uh, I'm a research and extension entomologist with the University of Arizona. I'm located here at the UMA Agricultural Center. I've been with the university for 33 years. I focus a lot of that time on uh, developing and examining new insecticide chemistries, as well as studying the biology and ecology of key pests and invasive species that have come into our area. I've had a long working relationship with Syngenta. One of the opportunities I have is to get really early looks at some of this new chemistry. We have four or five, six years of pre-development looks at it before the growers ever get a chance to look at it. I interact with Syngenta scientists from headquarters, particularly when it comes to resistance management. Steve Mitchkevich, I'm the crop protection field development scientist in Indiana. I'm a member of the insect control bio team. My background is in entomology. A typical trial load for me is somewhere in the ballpark of 35 trials or so uh, that I will conduct myself. Uh, in addition to that, uh, we have other trials that we contract out to local university folks, so work with them. So that's, a, that's really a collaboration. A lot of different research going on from the host plant genetics to, to uh, insecticides to cultural practices. Really university research is very critical. The ability of uh, a company like Syngenta to bring a project to us early and help fund that, it really allows us to get a much better understanding of what this product's capable of doing, what it's capable of not doing. Um, because ultimately, that's what's important to the, to the grower. They wanna know, hey, I'm gonna be spending some money on this. Is this stuff gonna work? Um, is it reliable? Is it consistent? Is it efficacious? And so I think Syngenta does a really, really good job of, of bringing those products to us early so that we can uh, determine you know, where it fits in our, in our IPM programs. Syngenta's always brought really good products to, um, to the market. They're not just out to market and make a buck. That's my perspective. They're, they're science-based. They're local scientists, uh, the field development reps, uh, even the sales reps are great people, and I work with them all the time, and that's good because um, it keeps us both honest, you know, uh, and, and that's, what, that's what the industry wants. They want, you know, honesty.